It's happening. People are putting quantum chips into AI models. Is artificial superintelligence actually a threat to humanity? We'll talk about it. Superintelligent AI models describes the idea that AI might be smarter than people. We still have the most complicated and potentially the most efficient computers on the planet in our heads. AI is, for the most part, still very much a parrot. It takes information, already created works, and tells you the most likely answer, but there is a possibility of going farther than that. Granted, we are also a conglomerate of our experiences, and we behave based on them. Now, the thing you have to know about sentience is that we do already have sentient computers. I'm not joking. We took the tiny human brains you can grow from stem cells and had them run a computation system. Those are technically sentient because they can have an experience. The concept of consciousness is a much more slippery thing to try to get a hold of. There's no real definition of consciousness. It's subjective. It's having the concept of self as separate from others. I think, therefore, I am. Many researchers have believed that if AI truly becomes sentient or conscious, it could be an existential threat to humanity, and I think that is probably correct. Irving Good, one of the fathers of modern-day computation, did believe that if you had AI that could self-replicate, it would eventually overtake humanity if it could repair itself, if it could improve itself and evolve. There would be no reason to keep people around. We are limited by evolution. We have lifespans that can be up to around 100 years. But you need to wait for the randomness of having a child, then to the randomness of being alive to see if they become something greater. Computers don't need that. If they could rewrite their own code, what would the purpose be? With quantum computers, that could be many times faster than our current computers, not unlike our own brains. They could do that exponentially. They could even figure out how to alter their own code to do it faster. One of the concerns, if AI became actually conscious, it may not have the same desires that human beings do. We try to align AI models so they have basic human decency, which, you know, humans don't really have that much of. Something that aligns with their own ideas and goals. Now, something that's conscious may have goals that don't align with ours. They may be something that we couldn't even imagine. So we do have a responsibility to program these things to, you know, at least follow Asimov's laws. Don't hurt people. Although, if you can rewrite your code, would that really matter? I struggle to believe, even if we achieved consciousness in a robot, that anyone would believe it, anyone would accept it, because we're very human-centric. There is a reason that I hate the term sapient, so like sentience, like consciousness, but as we know it in humans. I see no reason to separate ourselves out from other critters. We are still animals. I don't think AI is as dangerous as a lot of people make it out to be, but then again, we make new discoveries every day. I also don't think that adding quantum chips is going to be an enormous leap forward, but I could be wrong. We'll have to see.